Hey, what's up guys? Donesty Fitness here. Happy Sunday to you and I hope everyone is doing well. I wanted to talk about how to lose weight fast. Three simple steps based on science and there are many ways to lose a lot of weight fast. So that said, many diet plans leave you feeling hungry or unsatisfied. So these are major reasons why you might find it hard to stick to a diet. However, not all diets have this effect. Low carb diets are effective for weight loss and may be easier to stick to other than diets. So here's a three step weight loss plan that employs a low carb diet and aims to significantly reduce your appetite, cause fast weight loss, improve your metabolic health at the same time. So number one, cut back on your carbs. The most important part is to cut back on sugars and starches or carbohydrates. When you do that, your hunger levels go down and you generally end up eating significantly fewer calories. Instead of burning carbs for energy, your body now turns or starts burning stored fat for energy. Another benefit of cutting carbs is that it lowers insulin levels, causing the kidneys to shed excess sodium and water. This reduces bloating and unnecessary water weight. Put simply, reducing carbs can lead to quick, easy weight loss. Number two is eat protein, fat, and vegetables. Each one of your meals should include a protein source, a fat source, and low carb vegetables. As a general rule, try eating two to three meals per day. And if you find yourself hungry in the afternoon, add a fourth meal. Constructing your meals in this way should bring your carb intake down to around 20 to 50 grams per day. So eating plenty of protein is an essential part of this plan. And evidence suggests that eating a lot of protein may boost calorie expenditure by 80 to 100 calories per day. And when it comes to losing weight, protein is a crucial nutrient to think about. And so healthy sources of uh, protein include meats such as beef, chicken, pork, lamb, fish, and seafood, salmon. For eggs, there's eggs with yolk and plant-based proteins such as beans, legumes, soy, low-carb vegetables. Don't be afraid to load your plate with low-carb vegetables. They're packed with nutrients and you can eat a very large amount without going over 20 to 50 net carbs per day. A diet based uh, mostly on lean protein sources and vegetables contain all the fiber, vitamins, and minerals you need to be healthy. So many vegetables are low in carbs, including broccoli, cauliflower, spinach, tomatoes, kale, brussels, sprouts, cabbage, Swiss chard, lettuce, and cucumber. Some healthy fats, don't be afraid to eat healthy fats. Trying to do low carb and low fat at the same time can make sticking to the diet very difficult. So sources of healthy fats include olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, and butter. And number three is lift three times a day. By lifting weights, you will burn lots of calories and prevent your metabolism from slowing down, which is a common side effect of losing weight. So try going to the gym three to four times a week to lift weights. If you're new to the gym, ask for a trainer for some advice. If lifting weights is not an option for you, some cardio workouts like walking, jogging, running, or cycling, or swimming, both cardio and weightlifting can help with the weight loss. And lastly, try doing a carb refeed once per week. If you need to, you can take one day per day off to, to many people choose to do this on Saturday. It's important to stick to healthy carb sources like oats, rice, quinoa, etc. And if you must have a cheat meal and eat something unhealthy, do it on this day and limit this one to higher carb day. And if you aren't reducing carbs enough, you might experience weight loss. You might gain some water during this refeed day. And then uh, it's again to text to one to three days. So that's it guys. I hope you liked this video. And if you like it, hit subscribe. Go to my YouTube channel, Donsty Fitness. Thank you for watching. Till next time, live your best life and peace.